Okay, so this story is about uh, Aaron Rodgers. For those of you who either don't follow sports ball or don't live in the United States, he's an American football player on the Green Bay Packers. Mm. And he said, how can anyone believe in a God who sends people to hell? And it's caused a lot of consternation, let me just tell you. Mm. So about a month ago, Aaron Rodgers, an American quarterback, gave an interview to Danica Patrick, who is the first female race car driver, who's also his girlfriend, for her pretty intense podcast, and he opened up about his religious skepticism. He spoke about joining a Christian group um, and when he was younger, and he even went on memorable missionary trips, but his priorities changed once he got to college. He said he learned about other religions, and he realized a lot of religious qu- claims are equally absurd. He added, I don't know how you can believe in a God who wants to condemn most of the planet, you know, to a fiery hell. Mm. Like what type of loving, sensitive, omnipresent, omnipotent being wants to condemn most of his, this beautiful creation to a fiery hell at the end of all this? So, yeah, it was I listened to the whole thing and it was he and his girlfriend and he talked a lot about his um, missionary trips, which he really enjoyed and he said they went to Mexico and they helped people build houses. And he felt, felt like that was meaningful. But then he said when he would go to church, people would were just very much, he kept using the word, he said it was a crutch, and he kept using the words binary. It's binary. It's an us versus them, saved versus unsaved, you know, good versus bad. Hmm. And he said that he believes that this just makes people feel better about themselves. Hmm. It doesn't actually help anybody. Yeah, simple black and white, good versus evil nonsense. Right. And so that's basically what he said. And then he got to this point about, I, you know, I don't know how you can believe in a God. But he was mostly just saying, you know, he he's not, you know, really comfortable with this kind of, and he kept saying binaries, and this dividing the right. world up to people who are good yeah. or bad based on, you know, these yeah. beliefs. Be just in the life chair saying someday we will get to the point uh, we can say something like that and people will just shrug. Yeah, I hope so. Some, yeah. Like, this guy got like such a huge reaction for saying something so normal and reasonable, right? Well, American football is so tied up in the God country, you know, mindset that I think that people lost their mind. Oh, also, his parents are very religious. And his mother went on, you know, some new show and said, you know, that's not how you were raised. What? You know, we didn't raise you to like this. They have like no answer. They don't, they don't like, well, here's the answer. Here's what they're like. Like, oh, don't be so like, what? Like, don't so be evil. Why this? Like, give, give an answer at least. At least try to give an answer to his like so question. Yeah, go basically ahead. Basically, his mom went on national television and said she was very disappointed in him. Right. I mean, like, come on. What else? What other reactions? Like, this is a big news, right? Because this guy is, is this guy famous? Yeah, he's an American football player. And, like, that was part of the thing is that a lot of people, like, he won't come right out. He doesn't come right out and say he's an atheist, Mm. which in the United States can be suicide, you know. Although I still say they'll forgive football players anything. Mm. There's tons of football players who have abused women, gone to jail for sexual assault, done drugs. I think the you know, atheists need to go and show this guy support, so that more, so that he sees at least that the reaction is not all negative, so that there's some people welcoming him. And be like his question. I think this is a good thing. More, more famous people need to publicly mention their doubts, mention their skepticism. It will encourage more people to be like, yeah, actually, I had that question all as well, but I never thought it would be okay to ask, right? So it just opens the door to a whole other people. Um, Lindsay is, I agree. A, Lindsay is the top comment saying, oh, I believe some people should burn in hell, whether hell is actually a thing or not. Who the F knows, but I would say who would believe in a God who is all loving, who sends people to hell just for not believing in him. So Lindsay is saying, yeah, sending people to hell for just not believing in him is ridiculous, but some people should go to hell. I completely disagree with that. There is nothing absolutely nothing you can do that will make you deserving of going to hell i don't care what example you come up with 
the worst thing you could actually do in the world is to create hell for people to go to, right? So it, the most evil character, fictional or otherwise, uh, that was ever created in history is the concept of the Abrahamic God himself because there's no, nothing more evil than creating hell for sending people to, to, to there for eternal torture. But even that... Even that is not deserving of somebody going to hell. So I wouldn't even send God to hell if it was real. To his own hell. <laughs> to his own hell if it was real. Nothing. There's nothing that deserves eternal torture. There's nothing that is deserving of torture, period. Whether eternal or not. Um, Alright, let me see who else. Okay, Vibrant is saying Aaron's net worth is... 120 million dollars who oh wow this man is rich um yeah well good for him and good for him for coming out and saying this thank you for thank you for that make normalizing questioning religion this is great i think if he if he if he if he keeps resisting and doesn't you know like like now he's seeing a huge reaction right so he might back down, but if he doesn't back down, that means a lot of people are, is going to open the door for a lot of other celebrities and famous people to do the same thing. And I hope he doesn't back down. Please don't back down. People go on Twitter or whatever, show support so that he sees like it's not that uh, one-sided, right? All right. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.